Hi, my name is Anthony, and I come from Taiwan. Hi, I'm Ichiro. I'm from Japan. You are what? Tanti Tanamong, and there's like my nickname is Paul, okay. and I'm from Thailand. Hi, I'm Claire. I'm from Canada, and I'm a junior. <laughs> Hi, I'm Matilda. I'm from Italy, and I'm a senior. In my opinion, I think after school we can play some sports team. What I like about living here is that I get to do what I love basically 24-7. So I'm always training or I'm like experiencing new things. And living with my coach, who's usually at work a lot, I get to have more of an independent environment. And it gets me like life skills that I would learn that I need in college and university. I get to learn like a lot of new things and new culture. And it's like really fun with the kids sometimes. Uh, school is small, so it's uh, easy to know everyone. You never see this before. If you go to Thailand, you never see how we live, like us, like me. I never see how you live, how you learn. That's why I like it. Okay. Great news for me. Okay. I like how it's a great new experience. Like I come from a city, so being in a smaller school is a really cool way to experience a different kind of high school career. It's kind of a comfort zone for me because it's small and it's uh, like my whole school in Italy, so it's kind of a comfort zone. I think hard thing is uh, language and uh, talking to people. And you're afraid of the people, they, they don't understand what you're speaking and or they asking you some question, but you know the you you have the answer, but you don't know you, you know how to explain to them. Right. That's food. Because in Thailand we have the best food in the world, and the guys suck. Okay, and the guys bad food like hamburger, hot dog. That's not good. Thailand have better food, and I miss the food. Like personally, I think the first week of the school when the school starts, because I. Like, I had to make friends, like new friends, and it was really hard. Uh, be open to talk to new, new people. I mean, sometimes it'll be tough, sometimes it'll be rough. Sometimes it's really hard, sometimes you want to leave, sometimes you feel like, why be here? But if you can't pass that situation, everything's going to be fine. I think we have to be respect to people and be polite because that's an important thing. Um, yeah, I definitely like warm clothes because it's really cold here. Like, I don't know, <laughs> but it's really cold. And I would recommend a sport because it helps me a lot. Yeah. I would say just be like super activities. open and talk to people. Like, mm -hmm. have an open mind and don't be shy. I mean, like, it's hard to say don't be shy and then you will be anyway because it's like your first day at a new school but like try to have an open mind when going up to people and like don't try to judge anyone because everyone has their own story yeah. so uh, learning a uh, new culture and meeting new people and you can to learn the English and improve it if you're not really good at English speaking talking listening and writing. Mm -hmm. it is... Oh my god, I forgot. What do you want other students to know before coming to America? Your future oh. plans. I don't know. Do you know? Okay. I hope I can stay in Lake Placid if someone adopt me. Okay. <laughs> grade you're in and stuff. My name is Sarah McKelp and I'm in 11th grade. Uh, my name is Elise Pearson and I'm in 11th grade. Hi, I'm Sandra and I'm a senior here. And every Thursday I meet with Ichiru and Anthony and we do a tutoring type of class for the entire period. For Lake Placid, we are primarily a ski town and we really don't have a lot of diversity in the school. I think it's really cool to get different cultures in, different people, different viewpoints, and it's really just cool seeing how everyone else lives. It is, and also Lake Placid offers so much that other schools can't. Like, it's just really funny um, to hear the stories, like see what's new to them that's like totally normal to us. We kind of take it for granted. Like nice. whenever I'm doing French, she'll be like, oh, I can help you. I remember during SAT prep class, like she was telling us the difference between the math they were doing like in Canada and how it is. Like,
think tutoring for me, it helped me see um, how difficult it is for someone to learn a second language, not just the like grammatical side of writing and reading, but also the speaking, because it takes a long time. I think I've always had an appreciation with um, growing up with my mom having to learn a second language. Our community. Right. I think it definitely is super important for us to have international students come in um, I think because this is very new, a lot of the kids here right now aren't really sure what's happening with like, um, do I talk to this person? But I think if we add more years of students coming over, then like students here will get used to like opening up and for talk. doing a really long stint. A, I have to congratulate them because that was terrifying. Yeah. And um, B, I don't. It just really makes me wonder about the world. Like I haven't seen a whole lot. Only been to Canada before for out of country, so really want to get out there. There are so many places that are so different from here and like cultures and the di diversity everywhere else that you can go it just makes you want to go abroad. Yeah, you should definitely go abroad because like um, getting out of your comfort zone it helps you a lot like it helps me a lot with like my feelings and like because I'm really shy and so it helps me a lot and also you get to know another language another culture, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Just to keep an open mind and to experience new things and like enjoy what you're going through. Like if you want to go to like a different country, you want to experience the authentic country rather than just a little portion of it. So just go for it. You like tutoring? Okay, wait, why do I like tutoring? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fixing her hair. <laughs> okay, are you ready?